Well, time has come. Finally, I got access to Lazy. Can you believe it? I published this video nearly two years ago where Lazy was the first time introduced. And ever since I wanted to get into Lazy, now I'm in. And here are my first impressions. I just hit recording while I used it for the first time. So you get my real reactions from it. I'm not holding anything back. You will see I'm getting excited at some point, but will it be enough to replace any of my tools? You will see in the end of the video. Loading the experience. Well, I in general love the styling. Uh, the design is also lazy. I really like it. Okay. I like this idea, you know, that I can chat with my knowledge. I also like that they're encouraging you to use keyboard shortcuts. I really love the design. It's amazing. You know, when you use a tool every day, then it should look awesome. Otherwise, you're not using it. And that's what they really nailed. Minimalistic, but with these nuances of this glow and so on, I really love it. I love the onboarding. I love the styling. I love this loading screen. I mean, <laughs> obviously it needs to be functional too, but so far I really love the design. It's amazing. Also, look at this. You know, these, these details, that's something I really love. That is just highlighting parts of it. This is amazing. Okay. Ah, oh, man. I can just go through this. Nice. Nice touch again when you hit inbox zero to have the quote. Maybe saving it as a card would be something great. So I copied it to clipboard. If I made it to command J and I post it here. I cannot get enough of the design. <laughs> That's already worth using. I can regenerate the answer from AI. I can capture it. And now it's done. Now it's in my inbox. And of course, I love inboxes as we all do in the paperless movement, because it allows me to process my information later on. So if I take any notes, boom, I can just bring in other notes and say, what is this note about? I love it so far. That's great. But let's create a new note. Okay, I hit, just hit N and it allows me to create a new note. Let's create a new card. Oh, I, I misspelled it and hit enter. Uh, okay, great. I can hit slash code. Oh, great. Now I can finally add code snippets. It's amazing as I'm just working on our new application, the one app to rule them all. This works perfectly. Boom. I love it, man. Okay. Vibe coding. And I say Claude. And how can I, I would love to be able now to go back and just open up the note with my keyboard. I don't know how this is possible. I'm sure this should be possible. Okay. Now we see here the connections coming up. So serendipity. Oh man. I love it. It shows me Claude code vibe coding. I really hope that this will replace finally or be a follow up of mem. So it's just something in between AI support, but with additional structure that I can give here. So let's say I want to pin this. See, it's just P. But how do I do this when I'm in the node itself? Do I hover over this and then hit P? No, I guess I hit escape and then hit P. Nope. I know that they are still working on it. So I would expect that there's another shortcut. But how am I supposed to hit M, for example, right? So lazy commands, M, P. Okay, here it works in the commands, obviously. So maybe that's why it's showing up the shortcut here, because here I can click on it and it just shows up because it's connected to the general commands. But uh, let's pin this. I now have my pin board here and I can open this out. And uh, there are no cards inside, although there is a card inside, right? But in general, let's go to a website. Let's say I want to save this, Command J. Okay, I see on top, it picked it up. That's the selected text. This is the source. This is, I don't know, what is this? And just ask AI, okay? So improve writing, writing. Oh no, that's great. So I can actually select text that I'm writing in order to use these prompts. Something that I would usually do with Raycast. What's this? Okay. I like that it's not just generating nodes. It's asking me to capture it. Can open up the chat in full page. Okay. I guess I have to move it into it and it shows, ah, because this is now just a reference and this is now the actual card inside a card. So this means when I say here can create new cards this way and then it creates a card here. But if I mention a card, it will create the card. So if I create a new card this way, it creates the card in the cards, see, but leaves a reference. And if you know this, that's really great, I think, because it gives me the option to have both. However, I don't know it in line. Great. I can still do it and Obviously, there's a shortcut, so I can inline write something about and then use the shortcut and then it makes the whole line into a card. Okay, now we're in sources. What are sources? There's a journal. Oh man, I like it. 
I like it. It's referencing to this. And if serendipity works with this, that would be amazing. I can jump to the different days. And just as just the design, I'm not getting enough of the design, to be honest. Events, locations. So context, that's interesting. What is this? How can I add people? Now we are in people, but I don't know. We are on people here on top. Ah, here are the different context sources. People, journal. Okay, so I had expected this would show up here too, I guess. But it seems they're organizing this differently. And the pinned notes, they get individual things too, so... Boom, I can very quickly go to these areas. This is amazing. Delete this card. So command backspace is deleting the card. Okay. I can add emojis. Can add a cover. Can even add a link. Well, all you need, right? Share to the web. I like it that we have done and later. So we have here tasks. So this means I have even the option when I'm taking notes. So let's say I'm on my journal and I'm adding a task, I'm sure they will allow, yeah, there we go. If you use the open and close bracket, it will convert your node into a task. And something we don't believe in is task management inside PKM tools. However, during the day where you quickly take notes, this allows you to create an inbox with tasks. So when we go to tasks, okay, they're not showing up. I, I think the problem is here that when we do it inside a node, it becomes a checklist. But if we are on a, let's see, when we are on a card, it make this to a task. Okay. So it seems we need to convert this into a proper task. See, turn node into task, new nested task, new task. And now we made this a task, which is already checked off, unchecked, and still not showing up. It seems there's a bug, but I would prefer actually to have the option that whenever I make a task in here, like you have in Heptabase and so many other note-taking tools, that you can track these in your tasks. So inside tasks, I would expect all the unchecked things that I have across my note-taking to come up here. So I can then perfectly later on convert them into tasks in my task management tool, like Todoist or even ClickUp. The thing is for shallow note-taking system, I don't need more than what I see here. What is table of contents, head headings, Oh, nice. I can create a table of contents this way on top when I have, uh, well, that's great. And now I guess when I click here, it moves down here. But let's add an image. Boom. I'm sure when I just copy it, that works too. Great. I love it. You know, it is the simplicity that's key here. I'm sure many people will say, well, but this feature is missing and this feature is missing. Yeah, then use a more advanced PKM system for this. But I love the minimalism here because I can perfectly see how it works like a shallow thinking system, the way that I can quickly capture things. Now I can, what is resize? I can shorten this now and now I can capture it. And that's it. See, and the great thing is it adds the link where I got the source from. I love it. And to capture it, command enter, or I can capture it as a task. So boom. And now I'm going here. I select this. Boom. I can say, how can I switch between this? That would be, ah, with tab. Okay. With tab, I can switch between these. Now I can summarize this and I can capture it and Option Enter will save it as a task. Let's go to YouTube. So let's see what it does with YouTube when I hit Command J. Okay, let's see if it recognizes it as a, okay, it recognizes it as a video. And now I can say key takeaways, generate text, translate, summarize, let's summarize it. Boom, and it's correct. And I can uh, restart, I can say key takeaways. And it even uses the timestamps and it adds the video below. I love it. And I can open it with Command I. And here we go. All right, you are perfect. And I can watch it here. I can All watch right, it in full are. screen. And me as a, oh, and here's even the link to the timestamp. Oh, this is amazing. Let's see if I can ask a specific question about the video. So let's say, uh, where in the video is Tom showing the actual apps? Let's see. Amazing. And now I can capture it. This is amazing, guys. This is amazing. This is amazing. So here's the task that we created out of the perplexity thing. So I would rather use the task probably as an 
priority inbox, right? If it really is something that I need to process. And here to do is versus Sansama, it gives an emoji that works with it. And well, in fact, look at this. It added to the existing node. It gives me a time. Amazing. And it jumps to the position on minute 16, 14. And then I can, that would be amazing if this would work too, but doesn't it look 9, 10? This is exactly the timestamp that this was there. This is amazing, man. Now I'm, I'm really getting excited here because I'm feeling the potential now and I'm sure I can ask follow-up questions here. What does Tom say in the end? Look at this. And now I can say insert, I'm sure. And see, it inserts it on the position where I hit Command J. This is amazing. See, it makes the category videos. Let's do the same on X. Okay. Yeah, that's actually amazing, the 11 laps. Let's save this. Boom. Summarize. <laughs> Capture. Done. See, I'm, I'm just using my shortcuts and it, it just works. And now here we are, including the video. This is amazing. It even downloads the videos and the whole thread. Is it? It downloads the whole thread and you can save it this way. This is amazing. And it even adds the author. And now I have him and the people. See, it, that's what I expected. And now here, I'm added too automatically. This is amazing, man. This is amazing. And here you see now, oh my God, this is amazing. And well, as I say, I love the design. It is amazing, the design. This is amazing. So let's go to LinkedIn. Okay, does it recognize when I'm looking at it? Let's see, let's select the text this way. Select the text, source content. Summarize. What is generate text, by the way? Corporate humor, comedy. That's crazy. That, that actually works. Let's capture this and let's see what happens. There we go. And it made the author click up. And I guess I can edit this. And now I see whenever I save something about click up, it's here. Let's see sources, tweets, videos, links. And I know like capacities. They have something like, you know, the differentiation and so on as well, but I like how it's organized. I like that they make these categories here. Okay, I think this is enough for a first look. I'm really positively surprised. There you have it. Obviously, you heard it many times. I love the design and the style of Lazy. However, is it enough to replace my current tool stack? It got really close. I'm using Heptabase currently as my deep thinking tool and I use Tana in combination with Heptabase, remove Tana and just use Heptabase. And in Heptabase, there was a lot of friction going on when it comes to shallow thinking, capturing information. And this is where Lazy really shines. But I made a decision to stay with Heptabase base for now as they introduced an inbox to and made capturing easier. This being said, Lazy is on a great path. It has some unique functionalities and what I especially loved is the integration with AI and capturing. That's something I haven't seen so far in other tools. Also the auto categorization that we had there with authors and sources and things like that. This is really great. So be sure I keep feeling lazy and have a closer look. But what about you? Are you already using lazy only or do you combine it with other tools? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss this and maybe we make a follow-up video then. Catch you up in the next one. So if you want to watch the video about Heptabase and how I use the inbox there, you can watch the video here.